Hey, what's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Coach Coco and I love volleyball. So much so my channel is full of tips, tricks, hacks, and anything you can ever need to know about volleyball. So today I'm gonna to talk about some warm up, warm up, some warm up drills that you can do on a blank wall. Let's get right into it. volleyball normally when you're going to play in a game you have opportunity to warm up we do the traditional volleyball warm-up and if you haven't seen that before I'm gonna link it in the comments we also warm up with our team but what happens if you need a little bit more specialized warm-up that is where the blank wall comes into play we're gonna talk about some of the things that you can do to warm up with a blank wall and get ready so one of the most traditional things that we see happen on the blank wall is the hitting rebound the hitting rebound not only works on your shoulders for your serve, but it warms your entire shoulder up so that way if you're an attacker, that you're ready to attack. The worst thing that could ever happen is you go on the court and you're cold. It's happened to me, it's not fun. So we want to make sure to warm up our shoulder appropriately. Typically after I do my volleyball warm-up, like my hitting lines, the butterfly drill, the serving drill, I will still come here just to warm up extra. to hit the floor and it bounce off of the ball and it will come back. The object of this drill is to be able to hit it in a way in which the ball will rebound to you effectively and not go crazy everywhere. If you're finding it's uncontrolled, that's okay. You just need more practice. Practice does make perfect. So we just want to make sure to hit it in a way that the ball is going to come back. We don't want to hit it straight at the wall because it's going to hit us straight in the face. We want to hit it straight down. And you see how it flew right on past me. That means that I used too much strength when I was hitting the ball. We want to make sure that as far as you are from the wall, the less strong you're going to hit it. So if you have about this much room, you don't have that much room to hit it. Now, if you really want a really good warm up, you want to make sure to stand probably about 15 to 20 paces away from the wall. I'm in my serving form, and I'm gonna send the camera back. I'm in my serving form, and then I attack the wall. And I catch. And I catch. Now, once you start getting used to just that catching motion, then you can start doing it repetitively. You'll often see players do both arms, one arm, super hard, not hard. There's a lot of different ways that you can use the wall to warm up. able to warm both arms up as well. If you feel like your left arm needs to be warm, warm it up. If you feel like you want both, warm both up. That is one of the most popular wall drills that you can do, but let's move on to the second wall drill. It is the pass and repeat. Now, I've seen this drill done a couple of different ways. However, this is the one I find that's the most effective so I don't have to keep chasing the ball. So I'm gonna get a little closer. Now with the pass and repeat drill, the object is to pass the ball. We want to start working on that self-control because passing, you have to have a certain level of control in order for the ball to go to the center. With the pass and repeat drill, I'm going to toss it up, pass it, and then my object is for me to get it back to myself. Now I wanna make sure to get that ball control to just me 
because I'm trying to make sure I have that ball control. You're aiming to get the ball back to you. If you find that you're moving a lot around with this drill, it's okay. This drill is exactly what it's supposed to do. Be a drill to help you get better. Now some individuals who are very skilled at the passing can just keep going. If you feel like you are very skilled at that, go for it. And that's something that you can do if you are very skilled at the passing. The last rule is for our setters. It's the set and repeat. Set the wall, catch. Set the wall, catch. Set the wall, catch. Now if you're really good, you can set to the wall and catch. Often we also will see setters come up really close to the wall and just work on their setting. So, I hope that you liked this video. You got some drills that may be helpful for you. I hope that this will inspire you to use a wall. And please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.